This is Sydney's first train, locomotive number one, now stationed at the Powerhouse Museum. In 1855, she pulled the first passenger service from Sydney to Parramatta. The Sydney Railway Waltz was written for the event, marking the end of a dreaded trip by horse-drawn carriage. You had to, to go across three creeks at low tide, you had to refill the road. It was a really rough track and it was through farmlands. That's the first train over the bridge. It happened to be a ballast train. The rail fleet grew rapidly. 96 steam engines weighing 8,000 tonnes tested the strength of the Harbour Bridge. Sydney's king of the steam era was the mighty 3801. Pulling out of Central, the 38 is a grand sight. The first all-Australian loco was built in 1943. Well, it's enough to make any boy want to be an engine driver. Her record two-hour, one-minute run from Sydney to Newcastle still stands, but she couldn't beat progress. It came down to the wire. Electrification of the network meant a steamless transition underground for the new City Circle Line and the arrival of Sydney's most infamous train, the Red Rattler. Rattler. They were called Red Rattlers because these old windows and shutters would clatter incessantly. Once the pride of the line, the first electric train to cross the Harbour Bridge has been tracked down by Seven News to a shed in Everly. Complete with long benches, they're called bunks for drunks, the Rattlers featured an important safety device. The dead man feature on the master controller, because if the driver collapses and lets it go, it applies the brakes. But after 60 years of service, plus a very dangerous open door policy, it was... Farewell forever to the dreaded Red Rattler. Others were farewelled forever here at Sydney's mortuary station. And the train sort of pulled in and then there was a funeral uh, carriage, a carriage that carried the coffins and a carriage that carried the mourners. Death and tragedy have long been part of the network. The carriage has seen to disintegrate. January 1977, the Granville disaster, the worst train crash in Australian history. There are still dozens of ambulances here trying to get the injured and the dead out. 83 were killed, more than 200 injured, when a 600 ton bridge collapsed on two packed wooden carriages. Well, the train came off the rail just before the bridge and that was the end of it. Granville and other accidents have seen safety improvements to the tracks and rolling stock. The Rattlers have been replaced by stainless steel double-deckers carrying a million passengers a week, over 2,000 k's of track through 306 stations. As Sydney's rail empire building continues to the north and south, it's the end of the line for train drivers. The new metro system will be automated. 